a commuter plane circles outside Chicago, waiting for clearance to land. Eagle Flight 184, descend and maintain 8,000. Without warning, the controls snap to the right. The plane plunges straight for the ground. The behavior of the crew and the air traffic controllers would be examined. Pilots would question the safety of an airplane the airplane will have a nasty tendency to go out of control. Investigators travel the world for answers. The crash makes Roselawn one of aviation's darkest words. Afternoon on October the 31st, 1994. American Eagle Flight 4184 left Indianapolis, Indiana 15 minutes ago. It's heading to Chicago. There are 68 passengers and crew on board. through the clouds, the aircraft begins to experience some turbulence. I'm going to keep them in their seats in this chop and sense them taking chances. Captain Orlando Aguiar is in command of today's flight. It's supposed to be his day off. He volunteered for this flight to make extra money. His wife is expecting their second child. See if we can get above this. Center, any chance flight 184 can climb to 16,000? First officer Jeff Gagliano is handling the flying duties on this leg of the flight. He programs the autopilot to climb to a less turbulent altitude. Jeff actually was working on his uh, dad's ranch uh, in Wisconsin at the, just before he came in for that trip on uh, Halloween that day. Getting on a horse or getting in an airplane, those were two of the things that Jeff loved most. Flight 4184 is an ATR-72, a groundbreaking new aircraft built in France. Cost efficient and comfortable, the plane has become popular on short runs. This flight is just one of five short hops the crew will be making today. It's Amanda Holberg's first day on the job as a flight attendant with American Eagle. She's paired with Sandy Modaf, a seasoned veteran. Aguiar and Gagliano have flown this route countless times and know it by heart. When you're flying from Indianapolis to Chicago, you're flying through some of the busiest uh, airspace in the world. As Flight 4184 approaches Chicago O'Hare, the pilots begin the descent to 10,000 feet. Chicago Center, we have discretion down to uh, 10,000. We're on our way down now. In Chicago, controller Michelle Willman is returning from a break. The trainee controller is still working under the supervision of a monitor. She's told that traffic into O'Hare is facing potential delays because of weather. She will have to be prepared to put some flights on hold. 
Operations into and out of O'Hare are handled on a priority basis. It's not necessarily a first-come, first-served basis. Um, international flights arriving to O'Hare because of their fuel status get priority, and then the turboprops come in at the end. Eagle 184, hold southeast on Victor 7. Cargo Center, Roger, hold southeast on Victor 7. Eagle 184. Flight 4184 must now fly a racetrack-shaped holding pattern over northwestern Indiana. The crew has little to do as they wait for air traffic controllers to give them permission to land. Can I get you boys anything? I'm good. Stereo? Oh, well, you don't have a hard job. We do have it pretty easy. I think it's a real high deck angle in these turns. Yeah. We're just following in the air right now. You want flaps 15? We'll bring the nose down. Sure. I guess Sandy's going moving out. <laughs> <laughs> Flight 5 I can't hold any more, man. <laughs> Just doing circles up here, yep. Yeah, we got plenty of gas. We could be up here for a long while. Hey, bro. Yeah. Getting busy with the ladies back here. Ooh. Yeah, so if I don't make it up there, take the next 15, 20 minutes, you know why. I'll, uh, when we get closer to the touchdown, I'll give you a ring. Oh, no, I'll be up right now. You, uh, you haven't heard any more from this controller chick, huh? No, not a word. Eagle Flight 184, descend and maintain eight. Johnny, Eagle Flight 184 uh, should be about 10 minutes uh, till you're cleared in. Thank you. The flight is allowed to descend. Nope, I'm just going down to 8,000. Then a warning. I knew we'd do that. The plane is going too fast to fly with its flaps extended. I was trying to keep it at 180. Gagliano retracts the flaps. There's a strange sound coming through the fuselage. Suddenly, the control column turns sharply to the right. The controls won't budge. The plane is falling from the sky. The pilots begin to recover control. 